All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Time the Power. So I'm going to make a video about the legendary classic bodybuilder named Ken Waller. Now, many of you guys may remember Ken Waller from the docudrama Pumping Iron. Um, so that was the movie where, you know, basically he stole uh, Mike Katz's T-shirt in the pump-up room of the... Uh, of the Mr. Universe that year. So he was trying to throw Mike Katz off of his game. And that's the, that's the scene that a lot of people remember him from was they kind of tried to depict him as the villain or kind of like an asshole in Pumping Iron. They tried to make him kind of the bad guy. Um, so that's Ken Waller. So Ken Waller was kind of a tall bodybuilder. He was six foot tall, 230 pounds. So, or 1.83 meters tall and 104 kilograms weight for those of you guys that are watching overseas. So Ken Waller actually had a very vast and very long career in bodybuilding over three decades long. Um, he won the 1975 IFBB Mr. Universe, the 1969 AAU Mr. USA, and in 1976, which was the year after Pumping Iron was filmed, he would win the over 200 division um, at the Mr. Olympia competition. So it's important to note that after the filming of Pumping Iron and after the 1975 Olympia, Arnold announced his retirement now, I know he came back in 1980 and competed and won that year's Olympia, but the point in me saying that is in 1976, Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't there competing in the over 200 at the Olympia, and neither was Lou Ferrigno. So despite the fact that Ken Waller won the over 200 division, 1976 was the year Franco Colombo won the overall, and he won the under 200. So many people actually made a case for Ken Waller winning that year's Olympia. So 1976, arguably one of his best placings and one of the best you know, really, you know, spots on his career was that 1976 Olympia. So in addition to the titles that I mentioned before, this guy is also a NABA Mr. Universe overall winner. So again, continuing my series on former NABA Mr. Universe winners, there's been a lot of amazing winners of that competition. And as I've said in many videos, prior to the Mr. Olympia and even during the Mr. Olympia in the early days, um, the NABA Mr. Universe was the premier bodybuilding competition and was the number one most coveted title to win, especially back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s-ish era. That was the time where the Napa Mr. Universe was really at its peak. So in addition to that title, he has the Junior Mr. USA title. He also won the Mr. World title, the IFBB Mr. International title, the WBBG Mr. World title. He got second at that competition. The Mr. International, he would win that again in 1972. He won it the year prior in 1971. He won the NABA World Championships in 1973, the IFBB Mr. Universe in 1975. Then, of course, 76, he would win the Mr. Olympia over 200 division. And then from 1976 onward, his placings would begin to drop. So he would compete all the way up until the 1981 Mr. Olympia, which is the year that Franco came back and won again. So Ken Waller, like I said before, he had a very long and very successful bodybuilding career. And I feel like not a lot of people really talk about him or mention him among the names of great legendary classic bodybuilders. Typically, when you think of the golden era of bodybuilding or you hear about it, you hear names like Arnold, you hear Franco, you hear Frank Zane, you hear Lou Ferrigno. But rarely ever do people really talk about Ken Waller. And I think they should because he really did have a quite stacked history and pretty impressive competition resume from that golden era of bodybuilding. So that was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.